Okay, it's filming. Oh my goodness. I hate when this happens, but this is start happening again. I miss I film a lot and then it's not recording. How is that possible, Cecilia? I have to I have to be more focused. Okay, hey everybody, how are you? <laughs> I forgot to say that, right? I don't know. Well, I hope you're doing great. I hope you're doing great because this design is a St. Patrick's design, perfect for coming soon in two days so you can make it and share it on your Facebook, your Instagram or you can give it to someone as special ta -da -da -da. so it's a shamrock coming out from a pot of gold on a rainbow bracelet yep the cool part about this i like it that you just use scraps for the bracelet it is possible to make bracelets with just balloon scraps with the rainbow colors or um the, the basic the basic thing is just grab balloon scrap and make these loops and then twist it together and then when you have like three more of these you twist it together and you create this now, even faster, if you just have three colors, let me um, untwist this, but this is another technique I showed you before. When you're in a hurry, you want to do things, you know, fast, why not? It's okay to do things fast. So I'm just untwisting things so you can see what happens. It's like you can just have three balloon scraps. Yep. You can make it like one green, one, one green, one purple, one green, one purple. So follow a pattern there. Look, it's crazy there, but that can be the base. And then here can be a bracelet or a pinch twist if you want, but it can be into a bracelet. And that can be all. You want colorful things on the base, but even if you don't have colorful things, and then you say, Cecilia, let's do it just with a white 260. Do it, of course. Do it with a 1260 here, and it's on top of a cloud. Even the, one, the balloon 260 white can have a rainbow with Sharpies or stickers. Of course, everything is possible. This is one choice that I think is cool because for me, I love, you know, saving my scraps and reuse it and find a way. And this is the perfect moment when I have scraps and it's like, let's put it all together for rainbow bracelets. Now, ta -da -da -da, this is another design that I show you already a year ago, two years ago. It was a tutorial, very short, four minutes video that you can find how to do this. A one balloon a one sh a shamrock one balloon design one balloon shamrock tutorial you can find it it's going to be in the comments okay you're going to learn how to make this more detail now you make this check out that video to make this but also there are so many ways to make a shamrock you can make just three loops three hearts put it together long stick there and that's it the idea is you have to kind of have a little bit of tip for your shamrock why now, um, before that, I just don't want to forget. Look at the difference. I try, I use for this one, it's the same technique, but I use at 160 Decomex. 160 Decomex are not that longer, and it doesn't give you that effect in between, you know? And so you can use it even with a 260. It's just not going to look like this one. If you use only the 160 from Decomex or Qualitex, I mean, from Metalatex or Qualitex, you will have this uh, type of uh, design because it's much longer than 160 and much skinnier, I think. That's what it is. It's skinnier, it looks better for me. But you can do it with any design. Just something that represents a shamrock on top. Then you're going to grab your round balloon and you have to make a marriage twist. So this is something... Now, five inch round black. I want to just be clear. <laughs> you know what happened? Is I already made the video, but it wasn't filming. And so I feel like already I already said it before and I repeat it and it's like, I'll die. repeat it again. But I can't, I have to remember that you haven't seen it. This is the first time right now that you are seeing it, how I made this. So let's do this. A five inch round inflated close to the nozzle. You're going to squeeze the air and make it into a, like a marriage twist. And you put it there, push and grab all that. The green 160 and the five inch round. Hold it all the way to the other side. You have something like that. So you twist them. And then you grab a balloon scrap, any color, because it, it's okay, any color. I have a balloon scrap right here. And you pull, look how I hold it. Pull, pass this around, shoot, and then make sure things doesn't get undone. So I'm gonna use my body and tie it down. Okay, make sure you tie it two times. I recommend you that. So, so you have that. You can accommodate things if you want. If you think, wait a minute, I made my, my marriage twist very crazy. No, that's fine. 
you have it like this. You can uh, grab already these pieces that are about to scrap and attach it in the middle, pull and pass this around, okay? And this can be the base because the idea is to make something fast and easy, simple. I already show you what is this. Now you can always attach more if you want balloon scraps and have more colors. That's that's of that's great, good for you. You can always make this and it's gonna look even better instead of just this. So depending how much time, how much floor you wanna put on it, you can do it. Okay, I just wanna show you the simple and to show you that it's easy, it's not hard. <laughs> And I have a lot of potential for more elaborated things. But when you have that, then uh, you can always pass a, what is, a wristband from the dollar store. One of those ones. Okay, and you just connect it in here. If you don't have this wristband, again, with another balloon scrap balloon, just without inflating it, you can create that. You just put it there and look, if there is a, a design now you can play with different colors the kids favorite colors you just play with the balloon scraps you have available with you okay now when you are here you're gonna grab a 260 gold chrome better right if you don't have chrome try with yellow it's not that bad or golden gold or right? a color similar to gold you know um inflate it halfway so that's mean you have the balloon and you just kind of blow the halfway that is approximately one two three four five six 24 26 finger long inflated so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna make like a one finger bubble pinch twist okay and then you're gonna make bubbles like one two three four five six and i'm gonna so pinch twist then six bubbles and go around and and put it there go around and just twist it together there it that's it when you have that you're gonna now cover one more time so the pinch twist you you're gonna start again one two three try to make it one finger bubble four five six seven eight nine ten and then you going to go and try to find that to get there again to the pinch twist so with ten bubbles i think it's going to be good enough yeah. when you are here you can you just have this left over you can cut it it's not that bad or you can make even more bubbles if you want so i'm just going to leave it this way because the idea is you cover already this front you know so then from here you can make more bubbles that's what i did here like i just make a bubbles in the back thinking that it's coming out the coins but that's what you don't have to you don't you just make bubble bubbles but let's make it simple cut save this as a balloon scrap it's very important to save your balloon scraps <laughs> okay now you have it there you have this now, for example, here, the green already with green here, it's kind of like up. So you can always find what angle is better. You see, that doesn't look more the green. So, or you don't add green, you just add other colors, like the light blue, for example. So that's something you see, you decide what to play with. But when I'm looking at the design, it's like, ah, and look, you see, I'm adding another one and it's okay. It's gonna be okay there. So you can just, go crazy with that part of course the loops you know are going to be more organized and easy to stay you know more stable but it's okay at the end i want to show you the balloon scraps you know can save you balloons you can save you know balloons by do using your balloon scraps okay so then um last balloon Ta -da -da -da! a 160 jacomex or a 260 balloon qualitex or any brand 160 or 260, it's okay because you can always squish and stretch. You don't want something too thick, okay? But this is a Deco Max 160 and it's thicker than a 160. I, I repeat it because it's amazing, you know, why 
it happens, but yeah, it's thicker. So I'm using it as if it's a 260 regular balloon Betalatex or, or Qualatex, but it's actually a Decomex 160. So let's do this. Inflate it, six finger tail. You're gonna make a pinch twist. You can make a uh, two pinch twist if you want. Uh, it's up to you. But the idea is like, you connect it with this one pinch twist. So what is easier is you just start attaching the balloon 160 you know and then attach it to the pinch twist you make there and that can be easier sometimes okay then from here you squeeze you stress especially if you're using a 260 black and then you just go around soft and gentle all around i think it's give it that extra approach so let's do that and attach it to those pinch twists now you don't have to make up at the two pinch twist if you don't want with the black of course i do it only because it makes me keep safe, thinking things are going to be more stable. There, you see? But at the end, it's, it's up to you. Now, you cut, save your balloon scraps for another design. Even this can be the wristband part. You know, if you don't have a wristband already made, this can be a wristband at the end. Okay? So, let's pass it around and then accommodate things. Accommodate things. So it's everything looking great and that's what I'm doing and what I like about the pinch twist is also helping you to push down what you need to be you know looking down so so there you go look how cool there it is now if you're gonna go to a party you know that the pressure between the bubbles is what keep your things are stable there but if you feel uh I want this to stay um, stay longer. You can always glue dot the, these pieces, but it's not necessary. There is a pressure there, and I think for the party it's gonna be perfect. The moment there, ta -da! This is the design. <laughs> Trust me, it doesn't really take that much time. It's me that I get you know distracted and start talking to you and show you as as much as possible. But I think this is a cool design you can make. Um, again loops will be much better than just this way but this way is much faster so it's up to you now from this um thing this video also i want to show you that was the clip art i saw and the thing from there i can give many ideas for example what happened if the base you know this were another color maybe white if it's white and then or light blue that's color you know like i can want to represent a cloud light blue for the pot you know but because now it's light blue it can be a cloud so this you see just changing colors can be different things and if this is the cloud maybe here you can pass something around different you know and even this can be a hat so it's so many options you can play with the basics for St. patrick's you have to remember a hat pot of gold shamrock leprechaun rainbow so you can combine all those to make something or just one of those or two of those or three of those to make you know another thing now you can always here if having this and if you have a printed balloon representing a leprechaun like the ones that you can find in a your balloon store have the leprechaun face you just put it on here even if, if you put a light inside much better and it can be a very cool fast hat bracelet so I'm sure a lot of you already know, but I just want to give you ideas. I hope you are having an event. In my case, I don't have any event, but I have to do a balloon centerpiece. So I was thinking maybe this can be decorating the centerpiece I'm going to do for tomorrow delivery. Um, and I want to share it with you. <laughs> don't forget, like, subscribe, comment, share it. And if you want to collaborate with this channel, on the description of all my videos, there's also ideas how to make this channel much better. Again, that description or that link that is going to take you to the tutorial to this shamrock on top that is only made with one balloon 160 you're going to find it in the first comment okay there is a link and you will see now don't forget there is also a playlist in this channel so that means st patrick is coming go to the playlist of this all awesome st patrick's design so over these three years making tutorials I organize them into playlists. So now you can visit the St. Patrick's playlist. There is coming, well, there is, is there all the time, the Easter playlist. So for Easter, there's a lot of designs there 
so you don't have to wait us oh, it's not posting anything because sometimes i don't post things uh but it's there accumulated from you know already three years so you always will find a theme um also there is a playlist for characters animals cartoons food different festivities so that's the cool part about this channel so subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet because that thing you know just subscribing by liking the videos by comment it's also a good way to collaborate helping this channel to be better don't forget i have a paypal account and a Venmo account and also follow me on instagram because you want to see all the things that i make that sometimes i don't make it into tutorial but it's there and pictures helps a lot too okay have a wonderful day again <laughs> someone is calling <laughs> bye bye <laughs>